Hi there, friends. Now uh, we are going to look at the sonar data, which is extracted from a submarine. Uh, you can see all the columns uh, with, uh, in which uh, you know uh, the readings are uh, identical, except the except the last column, uh, which shows whether uh, you know uh, the particular reading is a rock or mine. Uh, so this this is the column which needs to be predicted. So let's go for it. So we have the uh, Google Colab open. You can rename it uh, the uh, rock versus mine prediction. Okay. So let's start the logistic regression by importing the essential package. So first. We have to import uh, pandas, and then uh, we'll have to import the train test split. Train test split, and then we have to India model import. Logistic. Now you'll have to make sure that the spelling and uh, uh, you know uh, the capital letter for L and R is right because uh, Python is uh, case sensitive. So the next thing which we are importing is dot matrix dot import accuracy score. Because we need to check the accuracy of our model, so let's run by uh, pressing Shift and Control. So now we'll have to add the file. So no data. Let's add the file. Data equal to delete dot read underscore csv and uh, since the uh, data does not have any header so we'll have to make sure we mention that so and then we'll read the data you know uh, first five rows so now we can uh, read first five rows here so it's the column number sixty which we need to, which we need to predict, which is uh, which which is what we call y. So now let's uh, let's get let's get the statistic. Data. So here we have count, mean, standard deviation, minimum. 25%, 50%, 75%, and max, which are required for uh, different kinds of uh, calculations. And then we'll see how many rows and columns we have. So we have to note eight uh, rows and 61 columns, uh, in which uh, the first column is uh, index. So now uh, let's see how many rocks and how many mines are there. So we have uh, 111 uh, mines and 97 rocks. Now we'll check uh, the mean value for uh, mines and the mean value for uh, rocks. So now we can see uh, the arithmetic mean for uh, mine and uh, rock. So let's start uh, separating uh, x value and y value. The x value is uh, uh, you know uh, all the data uh, except uh, column number 16. The x is 1. And uh, y value is uh, column number 16, which needs to be predicted. 
So now uh, let's start uh, applying the train test split. Uh, it is uh, very important to mention uh, the test size so usually we keep uh, the uh, the training size as 80 uh, percent and uh, test size as 20 percent you can keep uh, even 10 percent or 30 percent uh, as a test size but uh, uh, if i mean uh, as per my experience uh, 20 percent of the test size would be you know, will give you a, a very accurate result so we'll keep test size as uh, 20 percent and uh, random state as one So let's run. So now we have to uh, create the model. Let's check uh, accuracy of uh, both the training and test data. So now we can say uh, we can see that uh, the accuracy of train data is 83%, uh, uh, which is pretty good. Let's uh, check the accuracy of uh, test data. So uh, even the uh, accuracy of test data is uh, more than 80%, uh, which means our model is pretty good. So here we are, uh, we have the prediction, logistic regression prediction model for uh, rock versus mine uh, data uh, you know, uh, collected from uh, submarine readings. So uh, I have uh, sample data, which is a single line. Uh, so let's see, let's see uh, if the model works fine. So let's upload the data. Sample file. So even this sample uh, does not have a header. So let's mention that. So 
So let's uh, make a if function. Here uh, we have only two categories which uh, needs to be predicted. So we can just use uh, if and else. So if it's not a rock, it, sh it must be a mine. So let's run the prediction. Yeah. So the sample which we have uploaded is uh, for a mine. 